Phosphate plays a crucial role in water pollution, causing environmental issues such as eutrophication due to high concentrations of phosphate. In this experiment, we will introduce a fast and simple method for quantifying phosphate using UV visible spectroscopy. Color reagents react with phosphate, and the extent of color change can be measured to quantify phosphate. The Beer-Lambert law is the relationship between the attenuation of light and the concentration. There is a linear relationship between the concentration and the absorbance. Here are the necessary glassware and reagents for the experiment. First, prepare the coloring reagent. Here is the method for preparing ammonium molybdate solution. Grind the ammonium molybdate tetrahydrate crystal into a fine powder using a mortar and pestle. Place weighing paper on the scale and close the door of the scale, then perform zero calibration. Weigh 13.5 gram of ammonium molybdate. Place 13.5 gram of ammonium molybdate into a 200 milliliter beaker and add approximately 100 milliliter of distilled water. Dissolve it well using a stirrer. Next, the method for preparing ammonium metavanidate solution. Weigh 0.56 gram of ammonium metavanidate to curationed. Add approximately 150 milliliter of distilled water. Measure 125 milliliter of concentrated nitric acid and transfer it into the beaker. Transfer the solution of ammonium molybdate and ammonium metavanidate into a flask. Flask up to the calibration mark with distilled water and label it as coloring reagent. After covering it with a parafilm, gently shake it to ensure thorough mixing. Here is the process for preparing a standard phosphate solution. Measure precisely 1.937 gram of monopotassium phosphate. Transfer the measured monopotassium phosphate into a beaker and dissolve it with distilled water. Stir the solution well using a glass rod. Transfer the monopotassium phosphate solution from the beaker into a 1 litre volumetric flask. Fill the volumetric flask up to the calibration mark with distilled water. After covering it with a parafilm, shake it to ensure thorough mixing. Label the flask as 1000 ppm standard solution. Now, dilute the 1000 ppm solution to a 100 ppm. Take 25 milliliter of the 1000 ppm solution and transfer it to a flask. Add a small amount of water. Take exactly 20 milliliter of the coloring reagent and add 20 milliliter to each flask. Pour 5, 10, and 15 milliliter, respectively of the 100 ppm solution into three separate flasks to achieve concentrations of 5, 10, and 15 ppm. Fill the flask up to the calibration mark with distilled water. minutes to allow the reaction to complete. Here is the process for preparing a ammonium dihydrogen phosphate solution. Measure 0.301 gram of ammonium dihydrogen phosphate. Take 10 milliliter of nitric acid and pour it into the beaker. Take 30 milliliter of hydrochloric acid and pour it into the beaker. Transfer the solution from the beaker into a 1 liter volumetric flask. After filling up to the calibration mark with distilled water, cover it with a parafilm shake it to ensure thorough mixing. Here is the process for diluting the ammonium dihydrogen phosphate solution. Take 20 milliliter of 186.27 ppm solution and distilled water. Take 20 milliliter of the first dilution solution and transfer it into a flask. Take 
exactly 20 ml of the coloring reagent and add it to the flask. Mix the solution and wait for 30 minutes to allow reaction complete. Instructions for using a UV visible spectrophotometer. This is the UV visible spectrophotometer in Sogang University. Turn on the UV vis spectrophotometer and wait 20 minutes for the lamp to stabilize. After 20 minutes, open the Spectra Manager program and double click on Spectra Measurement. Click the parameters. Set the scan speed and photometric mode in the general section. In the control of parameters, set detailed conditions as follows. In the information of parameters set sample name and operator name and click OK. Put about 3 ml of blank into each of the two empty cuvettes. Place the cuvette with the transparent side. Facing the lamp and close the lid. After clicking baseline measurement, click measure to start the measurement. Put about 3 ml of sample into an empty cuvette. Keep the inside cuvette and place the, the sample in the outer slot. Click sample measurement. After comments appears, set the sample name and click OK to start measurement. When sample measurement is completed, the following window appears. To save the measured result, click Save as in the file menu. Save the file in JWS format. After each measurement is completed, it saves them in the same manner. Open the Excel file saved in .csv format from file export. And find the maximum absorbance for each sample. The data can be organized using Excel, and we can plot a calibration curve. After plotting the calibration curve, we can display the trend line its equation, and the correlation coefficient values. The spectrum shows that the absorbance increases with the increasing concentration of phosphate, which is consistent with the Beer-Lambert law. The yellow-colored complex exhibits absorbance in the complementary range of wavelengths. Measurements in the lower wavelength range should be performed by selecting an appropriate wavelength depending on the presence of interfering ions. In this experiment we used the absorbance at 415 nanometer to plot the calibration curve and confirmed a linear relationship between absorbance and concentration. By using this relationship, we can calculate the concentration of phosphate in an unknown sample. This result had an error rate of approximately 4%. Quantification of phosphate using UV visible spectroscopy provides rapid results and high selectivity. It is considered an effective method, providing valuable information.